What it do, YouTube? What it do? It's your boy, Blue. And today's video is going to be an order execution video on a platform, Tradevate. If y'all like the content, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and drop a comment if you got any kind of questions. Now off to this video. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true, but the world is pretty cold. You might So on Trade of Eight, there's three main ways to enter and exit orders. One of them is off of the charts. You just come up here to this little wheel icon and you hit on trade mode. And you can buy market, sell market, join bid, join ask, or you can actually double click or click on the chart and you can buy and sell. So say I wanted to short the market while it's up here, since I'm down here up under it. You just click on it, click sell, and then it'll add the little icon or the little line right here. And you can drag this up and down to where if you want to get closer or what price you want it at. Or you can hit the X and exit out of it if you will just want to cancel it. If you want to go long, you have to put it up top over it at the price that you want to go long at. Now, if you want to do more detailed then you can click off of this hit the trade mode it'll take it off and you can come down make an order ticket which you can pull the order tickets out of here and bring them down to your chart which is right here so let me exit out of that you go in here if you want to go long you buy it here if you want to go short you sell it hit the sale or if you trying to get out of a trade and you short, then you go to buy. If you, you know, if you add up, want to get out of the short, then you hit the buy. <clears throat> but anyways, you add your quantity, you add the price that you want to buy at. So say I wanted to buy it at $32.94. Then I'm going to have $32.94 and type in $32.94, put a limit by hit send and it's going to add it over here on the dom it'll also add it up here on your chart so you can either drag it up here if you want to and it'll make the correction down there or you can drag it from right here up and down to where you want it at hit the arrow back and then once you're filled always make sure you put your quantity in because it'll automatically take it out but say you wanted to, your field so I'm filled now and I wanted to get out at a certain price. Then I will put in, you can hit your stop price. And if I wanted to stop out at 32.93, I'm going to put in 32.93. And I'm going to go oh, scroll down and hit 32.93. It's going to put the stop out. You can also adjust this too. And if you wanted to put it in as maybe, say you wanted a trailing stop, you can go in and put the trailing stop in and you can put it at what price you want it to be at. Well, like I said, you got to hit the quantity and then you put it in and it'll trail. You see how it just moved up the one. So it'll trail it by, since it was at $32.94, it's going to trail it by the, the $1 or whatever I had it at, I believe. But it'll trail it. So that's how you do it off of the order ticket. And now you can come over here. I'm just going to go ahead. You can hit this exit market if you just need to hurry order up and get filled. out. It's like a quick bailout. And it'll clear everything. But over here, the way you get into your orders is you can either click it, hit the buy market, sell market, and put how your quantity in. Make sure you put that in first. You can either click on order filled right where it's red at, right up over the yellow, and it'll fill you. Let me get out order of that. Order filled. Or you can set it like if I want to go long and I want it to pull down to 3294, I'm going to click on that. So if it pulls down to it, it'll fill me. If I want it to go short and I want it to up here or any price that you want it, but it's got to be up over this area, 
then I'm going to put it right here. And it'll feel me if it pops up to it to go short. So that's how you enter and exit it. And down here, you see this zero, 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 zero. If you're actually fit, if you have orders in, it'll actually show you that Order you have filled. Oh, like I just went long, but it'll actually show order filled. <laughs> if I can put it on the right side, it'll show you down here that you have orders sitting in. So you don't want to have those on if you're trying to at the end of the day make sure you check them and take them off if you don't want them on you could just hit the exit market it'll take them off and now if you wanted to put in a bracket order you can hit on this little wheel icon and you turn on the bracket you create you could create one i got a couple in right here but say we wanted to create one in here and i wanted to name it what two dollars two and one you can name it whatever you like but i'm gonna do a two dollar trailing stop and a one dollar or a two dollar take profit and a one dollar trailing stop so you hit the ad to name it then i want it at price you can either have tick price or currency i always put it at price so that you can basically put it at the price that you want it away from it you can do take profit and stop loss stop loss only or take profit only whichever one you want you can actually have two brackets just in case you have more than one contract or multiple contracts and you want them taken off at different prices and stuff like that but so i want my take profit to be at two dollars and i want my stop loss to be at one dollar now if you want it to be a trailing stop or just a regular stop or something like that you just pick whichever one you want and you hit save and the way you have it on is you can turn it off if you got it off just so it'll feel you and you can put orders in and take them off as you please you have it in like that or if you want to put add a bracket to to it you come in here and you put on the one that you have now you see how it's got where I'm at and you can see the orders up over it just in case they get entered that's where they'll be executed if they get entered so if I put it on if I put it on right here order filled and I'm filled now it's got both of my orders in here. my take profits up here and my trailing stop is right here and it's gonna trail it behind it by a dollar so let me get out of that order filled or Say I wanted to wanted it to buy my order if it got down here. Then I put it down here and it'll put them on here only if it comes down to this 3294. So it's not going to fill them until it gets comes down here. And then these will pop up and it'll put you in an order, put in the orders for you or vice versa if you do it on the other side. So those are how you execute orders, get in and out of orders on the dom the chart and the order ticket if you have any questions or anything that i can help you with drop them down in the comments and i'll answer them and we'll see you when this market opens oh yeah don't forget to subscribe and hit the like and we'll see you on our next video deuces